So the first duty of the state is to restore the confidence of the people in the ability of the state to protect them. Nigeria has state institutions, the military, the military intelligence, the police, all of the whole gamut of Nigeria's apparatus. And so that apparatus must work for the people and must be seen to be working for the people. Usually when people have problems of this magnitude, not just in the middle, but anywhere around the world, the first person they call on to is the establishment political platforms. And so that was why I wrote before the elections that the middle belt will first respond in the ballot and then eventually in the bullet, which is the only language the oppressive states listen to. So when people have problems of this magnitude, they begin to call on their senators, on their lawmakers, on their governors, on the political establishment. And the idea is for the government to run to their rescue. And when consistently, especially over an extended period of time, the government fails to run to the rescue of the people, people begin to see government as part of the problem. And once people get to the point of losing total confidence, that there's a total collapse of confidence in government, the next thing that happens is self-help. And as of today, uh, if you've traveled around the country, you would know, because there was a time I said that, look, for insecurity, the people can mean terrorists faster than the government can kill. We are 250 million, uh, 220 million people uh, uh, population, according to uh, recent estimates. And then you have a lot of people unemployed, not just you have a lot of people unemployed, un hungry and angry. And then if you're unemployed, hungry and angry, and then you have growls against the Nigerian state, once there comes somebody who's going to mobilize you, who's going to give you guns and give you an, a purpose. That's really easy to happen. And I did say in one of the articles I wrote, but I've not had the lever to publish it. I said that I've been to the mango tree, under the mango tree, where Nigeria turns its citizens into terrorists. Because I, I visited people and there was this particular mango tree that was striking to me. You had about 10 or 11 able-bodied men. They are just playing what? And if you see the way they were playing watch, you will know that the word they were playing is a constellation of an hot. If you talk to them, some of them lost their wives and all their kids in attacks. They have no access to their farmland, nothing doing. People have kept them in IDP camps for seven years, promising them rehabilitation, rehabilitation. Nothing has happened. And they've been there for more than seven years, waiting for the government to intervene. And so in that atmosphere of injustice, this person feels so powerless. And all you need is for someone to give them a political motivation and tools to, 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 to take up to arms. So you have a further of people. In fact, they are terrorists in the waiting, only waiting to be activated. And you have a lot of them in Nigeria, not just in the middle belt. What I'm telling you now, I don't think the people of the middle belt will wait more than one electoral cycle. One electoral cycle and you will see what I'm, I'm telling you. That I said today, what you keep hearing from the middle belt is oh, former head of crisis. Right. Keep listening. Very soon, if Nigerians don't intervene, what you keep hearing now is that those ethnic groups will band themselves together and break the hands of the Nigerian state and will attempt to break the hands of their oppressors. In the East, you still have things like unknown government or ESN, who originally started out thinking, oh, we are going to fight the oppressive Nigerian state, we're going to fight for the people. But usually, they, even if they set out to fight the Nigerian state or fight for their people, it doesn't last for more than three months. It derails. It has happened in the Northeast. It has happened in the South-South. It has happened in the Southeast. In fact, it has happened in Colombia. Anywhere you study conflicts of this nature, when people start out to fight against the, the states, usually the first six months, three months after that, they derail. And then the issue with Middle Belt, why it's going to be worse than all the other places you've seen, is that already in the Middle Belt, there are manifestations as God by God's design. Many ethnic groups, different ethnic groups, and these different ethnic groups have competing interests and have prehistoric animosities to grind. Now, what will happen when you begin to have ethnic militias? So once they start fighting the Nigerian state, very soon they will now start fighting old tribal wars with new tools. So it becomes so convoluted that they are not just fighting against the state, that they are also fighting against each other, and then no actor, no policeman could come to mediate because you will be a target. Again, yesterday or two days ago, you saw what happened in Imo State. And this is, we're now beginning to paint pictures that things like that could spring up and get worse if we allow it to start in the middle belt. So yes, Nigerian states should start by saying there is a land use act. If you want land, acquire it according to the law. Nigerian states must go back to those communities, find out those communities, unearth those people and bring back the original owners of land owners. 
to justice before any other thing. And then the Nigerian state should find the merit, the, the backbone to stamp its authority. Who are these people attacking these people? Do they move by air? Why, why, why is this all convoluted? Even if they have support within the government, can the government find out those people that offer them that support and take them out? And so, if you don't solve the problem and show middle beltans that you can solve the problem, middle beltans will attempt to solve the problem by themselves. And usually we've seen that once people start to attempt to solve problems of that nature by themselves, it usually gets bad very quickly.